and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Omniscience Draft. That's right, we got something special here tonight. We're going to go ahead and play some Omniscience Draft. So this is just a fun event that's on Arena right now. If you don't know this event, it tells you all about it right here. Basically, it's a regular draft. You get three packs. Um, but with the twist, you don't have to pay the mana cost for the spells you cast. That's right. Every, every spell just costs zero mana. That's it. So you don't need to put lands in the deck. We're just going to be making a 40-card deck uh, with, with no lands. We don't need to worry about that. We don't have to worry about colors. You can take any cards that you want. Everything costs zero mana. We have this little emblem kind of thing here. Hey, thanks, Bertilux. Thank you so much there. Um, we got this little emblem thing here that uh, each player gets this emblem. Um, so yeah, you can cast spells from your hand without paying the mana cost for, for them. And then also you can pay zero mana, again, to add uh, Wooberg to your mana pool. You can only do it once a turn. So for one, once a turn, you basically have white, blue, black, red, green that you get to use for activated abilities um, and stuff like that. So you can still have a little bit of mana for activated abilities and things that you need mana for. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, and give this a try. Yes, I did see the thumbnail for the, this draft yet. It looks awesome. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, we'll get this back up here. There we go. We'll get that back. So things that say draw a card on it are really important. You want to you wanna try to be able to cycle through your deck. Um, I don't see anything here that I really like. Hey, thank you so much there, Paul, for gifting a sub. And Sandroba, welcome to the channel there. Convolute's a hard counter. Well, not really, right? Because can't they just like add the the five mana that they get? Can't they just can't they pay this? Like how they, you get to add the five mana, right? If we can find sacrifice stuff, we can have like act of treason. This is a pretty bad hand. This is a pretty bad pack. It's like pacifism. Um, if we have permanents that go to the the graveyard, I mean, I guess I don't really know like what we're gonna have in M twenty. <laughs> Draft the land. Um, I kind of think it's pacifism. I just I don't know how good Broughtback's gonna be here. Is the five only spendable by activated abilities? I actually don't know. I don't know. You think it's a bottom abomination or the troll? Just get a big five five death toucher. I could see I could see actually Broughtback being the thing. You know, like, we have creatures out, they have creatures, you know, like, we, we block, we bring them back. Let's, let's just take the prop back. It's fun, it's a rare. Risen Reef! This card's busted. This is, like, the best, the absolute best card to get. To get. So, I don't know, I don't know what my opponent, or not my opponent, <laughs> I don't know what the bot that's drafting took over Risen Reef. Risen Reef's just the absolute best card. Yeah, this is just the best card. So, what else is in the pack so we can kind of know, like, more cards that are in the, the format? Um, Soul Savage isn't the worst. Murder's good. Um, but, yeah, Pulse Moros is fine. All right, so we need more element. So, we want elementals. Oh, Blood for Bones? Yeah, Blood for Bones has got to be good. Is Agent of, oh Agent of Treachery is in this format? I still don't know if that's better than Risen Reef. So yeah, I could take the links to just have an elemental, but if I don't, I feel like Blood for Bones is the, the pick. Y'all like links? It's it's definitely probably one of those two cards. If 
only this was ETB, not attack. Yeah, it's, it's either links or bones. Blood for bones could be sweet with our brought back. I'm grabbing blood for bones. There's no elementals in here. Oh, there is an elemental. All right, we got an elemental. Oh, ETB draw card. All right, so do we take the elemental or the ETB draw card? I'm not interested in anything else. Either elemental or ETB draw card. <laughs> Get the crab. This seems like this works pretty well with brought back also. Like our whatever creature we put on it dies, we can brought back, bring it bring it back. Oh, goblin ringleader's got to be too difficult, right? It's probably just blade brand. Brought back is bad. That probably is. That that first pack had had nothing good. Alright. Blade Brand says draw a card. We're taking it. This thing says draw a card. Ooh, counter a creature draw card? Ooh, bone to ash. What the heck does this thing do? One damage? I think we have to take Bone to Ash. Yeah. Counter a creature draw card. Okay. Okay. So we have another Blade Brand, or I could go the Merfolk Pirate. Eh, Merfolk Pirate's not great. I guess it's just Blade Brand. This could be pretty awesome with Risen Reef. Do I try this with Risen Reef? Is this going to work? Return to our creature you control. Yeah, because then it just costs zero to replay. All right, so is this a hard counter spell or not? You'll get one mana of each color each turn to use for... Okay, activate this ability. No, so this is just add five mana, activate this ability only once each turn. But you can use that... It looks like you can use that five mana for anything. Okay, so this is not a hard counter. I think I'll just take this 5-5 five, five Death Toucher. I don't know, it's big. Mind Rot's pretty awesome. You know, turn one Mind Rot on the play. Yeah, Mind Rot's pretty awesome. It's not a good... It's not great to, like, draw into. But it's either 5-5 five, five or Mind Rot. I mean, I guess I could take an Elemental for Risen Reef. What do y'all think? Do we get grab another big 5-5 fi five, five Death Toucher? The thing is, this could be worth more than two cards. And then also, if they just... If you're on the draw and they empty their hand, then you're like, oh, well, what am, what, am, what am I doing with this Mind Rot? It's only, like, good on the play and on turn one. All right, so, yeah, that's not very much. Let's grab another 5-5. Five, five. Uh, let's see. What do you do? Whenever a creature the attack deals one damage to our creature... Pen yeah, that doesn't matter. Let's go 6-5 Menace. We gotta have some... Gotta have some beef. We're getting some beef in here now. 
Mm. Well, I guess we're taking this thing. If we gain life, they lose a life. I mean, it's just it's just strictly better than the other card. I guess. Volk, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Like, Inspired Charge just can't be worth it, right? Am I going to, like, combat trick somebody? Like, they try to, like, double block my Death Touchers and stuff, and I combat trick them? Eh, it's probably more valuable than 3-2. Uh, destroy a land? That eh, can't be valuable. Sure. Dracuseth! Dude, Dracuseth? Whoa. Dracuseth? Scholar of the Ages has to be great, though, also, because we just get to... Scholar of the Ages is just like draw two. Yeah, it came back. Yep, the draft came back. But, I mean, I'm definitely taking Dracuseth. Oh, yeah, Scholar plus Unsummon. That is, just a, that is just infinite combo. Oh, yeah, Winged Words, draw two. I can't imagine there's something better than a draw two. Um, that's not bad. Choose a card name, then reveal the top card of your library. If that card has the chosen name, sack the lockbox, draw three. Whoa. Okay, that's not bad. I probably want to just take the auto draw two, though. Yeah, we're just going to take the auto draw two. We haven't picked up any other elementals. Oh my gosh. Imagine doing this on turn one, and your opponent just has three spells in hand. They just, like, you know, your turn one on the play, they have, like, all their card draw and stuff. You just say, exile your hand. Oh, that would be crazy. May need to take this just for the lulls. All right. Any of the other cards do stuff? I don't know what you do. ETB, exile a creature from a graveyard, make a 2-2. Two -two. All right, so it's probably that or Outrage. Outrage is pretty decent. You know, it's just it's just a fine removal spell. Um, I think I like Outrage more than Pacifism. I think. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't. I mean, I guess my my the people that we're going to be playing against are going to have, like, these big 5-5s five also and 6-5s. These are commons. So maybe Pacifism's better. All right, so play play Thought Distortion. All right, here we go. Thought Distortion. Uh, Befuddle says draw a card. Unsummon's cool, especially if we if we get the the combo with Unsummon. If we if we find you know if we open up another one of those uncommons, the Scholars. Unsummon works with Risen Reef though also. But Befuddle just says draw a card. This is just hard removal. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. This isn't... I was thinking this is the War of the Spark one. That you can just... Oh, no. And that one wouldn't even be really hard removal either. All right. I think it's one of these two blue cards. Yeah. I'm taking one of the two blue cards. Y'all say Befuddle? This has just such high potential, though. All right. We'll go Befuddle. What do you do? Six mana? The six is too much anyway. All right, I guess Blade Brand. Draw a card. Draw a card. All right, Angelic Gift. I think Angelic Gift's better than Befuddle as far as card draw goes. I think this one's better. I'd rather my creature have flying than give another creature minus four, minus zero.
Um, looks like we're playing another large creature. Uh, this thing has, or this thing's an elemental, but then this thing's a huge dinosaur. Wait, portal's a, oh, and each aura attached to it. Okay, I was, I was like, this only bounces creatures. Oh, yeah, but it bounces the auras also. Oh, wow, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. All right, so yeah, do I take the elemental for Risen Reef, or do I take the 6-5 menace that can actually kill people? This thing doesn't. Singing in combat like doesn't really do anything. So basically, this card's not going to be any good unless we have Risen Reef. But if we have Risen Reef, then this card's good. Then this card's really good. So it's awesome with Risen Reef. Not good otherwise. Card that's just kind of mediocre. I guess I already, I already have four big creatures. Let's take the Elemental. Yeah, let's take the eight, Elemental. We have a lot of card draw, so it's not going to be too difficult to, to find Risen Reef. Um. Hmm. This could work. I have all. I have a lot of spells that target my creatures. Season of growth. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Elemental. Again, go to the Risen Reef. Otherwise, not. Or this thing where we can just guess and now nah, let's go let's go healer that's got to be really difficult to pull off y'all want to go lockbox oh this thing's a fire oh this thing's an elemental oh yeah good call the big elemental yeah i missed that that was an elemental it was too on fire for me to see okay yeah Alright, I don't think any of these are playable. I don't think anything here is playable. I guess this thing could be big. ETB with a 1-1 one -one counter off for each other creature you control. I guess it could be big. I mean, Rage only works if we have Season, but... I don't think this is really playable. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I should have the chat overlay up with the chat going nuts on this part of the stream. Oh, man, it's too late now. We're basically... Yeah. No. Um... Right, I'm going to squat up with the captain. All right, we'll take the elemental. ETV draw card. Angelic Gift is perfect. Uh, I don't know what that card does, so I'm going to take this one. It has way too many words for me to read. Rule of Law? Wow, that's a card I don't want to see. Wow, Rule of Law is in the format? Wow, I do not want to see somebody play Rule of Law against me. Gauntlet is nice, though. Did I, did I miss some card that's nice? I mean, I think it's just Angelic Gift here. Yeah, because I think, you know, just Angelic Gift, you know, it cycles and everything. And if we get Season of Growth, <clears throat> if we find Season of Growth, these are just divinations. I could, I mean, I could take this and then after like the, what, I play, I have like a, a really good turn one and then I play this at the end and then they only get to play one spell. Actually, maybe that is the plan. Like, we turn one and play a whole bunch of stuff. Gosh, but that's the thing is, like, then it turns off all of the card draw that I have. 
Yeah, that's true. The gift will probably wheel. That's a good point. Gift probably just wheels. Yeah, but gift is so important. I don't I don't know if that rule of law thing's gonna work. I'm gonna just take the gift. Risen Reef! Whoa! How do we get two Risen Reefs? Give me this. Alright, well I guess elementals are even more valuable now. And it looks like there's nothing better besides an elemental in here. Leaf Kindred doesn't seem very useful in this format, so I guess we're taking this thing. I haven't even seen this card before. The cat works with the brawler. I don't know what that means, but I'm taking the brawler. Okay, what do we got here? That was not a very good third pick, but I can't complain with the double risen reef. Um, this is also a very bad pack. Yeah, this this pack's really bad. Right? Like, none of these cards are, like, playable, right? I mean, I guess just re Reduced to Ashes is, like, the only thing that's, like, kind of playable. It's just a removal spell. I mean, have an Elemental. Yeah. Just gotta take Reduce. Okay, God's Willing. Unsummon. Unsummon's so good with Risen Reef. You know, trigger season of growth also. God's willing or unsummon. Yeah, let's go unsummon. We can also use it to you know get rid of their blocker or whatever. It has a lot of uses. Um, this thing's a seven seven. That's probably like the biggest thing. That's an elemental. Nice. Ooh, return. That's that's kind of like a draw too. Should probably take the seven seven elemental. Um, Y'all say soul sav salvage. <laughs> I'm not gonna take plummet. I don't care about removal that much. Um, it's either befuddle to again draw more cards. Soul Salvage or Vorst Glaw. Do we really need creatures? How many creatures we got in here? It doesn't tell you. Yeah, we got some. We got Dracusith. Dude, our deck is sweet. I'm gonna take Vorst Glaw. I'm gonna take the elemental to go with these Risen Reefs. What the heck do you do? Seven mana, five five? Deals common damage to a player. Each player discards their hand, then draws seven cards? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. We're just, mil we'll just mill out. And then my opponent wins. I think that's kind of bad because I don't get to, right? Like, I don't know. Is that bad for me? I think we're just going to take this 5-4 elemental. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is actually that good for, like, what I have over here. I'm going to take this elemental. Choose target permanent card in your graveyard that's put there from the battlefield this turn. Cool. Alright, well now I could maybe take the soul salvage, now that I got a couple more elementals. A couple more creatures. My goal here is to just play all of my cards the first turn. And so the more elementals I have with Risen Reefs, the better. Yeah, I would get to play my seven first, but I wouldn't be able to like attack with them or anything. I'd have to pass the turn.
I think we may be able to just play our entire deck turn one if if we get lucky. Um, nothing here is playable. I guess duress. All right, we're going to play one of these dresses. Okay. Um, duress or Inspired Charge? Probably Duress. Um, so how many creatures do, I, do we got? 18? Oh, yeah, that's plenty of creatures. It's maybe too many creatures. Squad Captain's probably my worst. Never mind, this thing's my worst. Epicure of Blood. Would I rather have one of these things than Epicure of Blood or Squad Captain? No, probably not. All right, here we go. Omniscience. You like... I mean, that's the thing is it's... Yeah, Rage only triggers... Like, it only triggers if we have Season... Oh, yeah, the wand. Oh, yeah, we don't need this wand. That wand's terrible. Thank you. Good call. I thought that wand was like the... I thought that was portal. I miss. I missed that. Yeah, get that out here. Good call. Uh, no, I didn't get any Act of Treasons. But I, I, like our, I like our deck quite a bit. I think this deck's pretty good. That's the thing. You, we only have three cards that we draft that we don't get to that we don't play. You have to play like everything. All right, let's do the poll. How many wins are we gonna get? Zero to seven. Here we go. Let's go like a forty-five second poll. All right, there you go. Poll started. Type how many wins are we going to get? You can either type 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7. Well, turn like Duress is awesome on turn 1. Take a card from their hand. But yeah, maybe Natural End's more useful. I guess we'll be able to, to change it. Some people like hold up counter magic and stuff. I see a lot of fours and fives and some threes, some sixes. Oh no, there's a three sixes in a row. Somebody vote for something else. All right, poll has closed. Final results 15 people said five, 14 people said four, nine people said three, eight people said six. So three, four, five, and six are definitely the most the ones. And then only five people said two, and then four people said seven, and then only one person said zero, and one person said one. <laughs> What's the odds of being on being manuscript? Not nearly as much as we were earlier. Man, we had a rough day today, mana wise. So this this is gonna be fun. We don't have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, we're only gonna be on the plate twenty six percent of the time. Only one draw card. Doesn't really make sense to mulligan, I don't think. What is omniscience draft? What we're doing right here. We we draft and then we play where all everything costs zero. We have the absolute worst card in our deck here. Wow. My opponent has a great card. Wow, what a this thing. Five five that makes two two twos.
Hmm. Yeah, that duress isn't working out. Yeah, this was an awful hand for us. <laughs> yeah, these are the the worst cards in our deck. <laughs> I guess maybe I should have mulliganed. Oh my gosh. I have these cards. Why, do, why can't I draw these cards? I don't have this thing. That's incredible. They just get to scry three every turn. Ugh. This is over. <laughs> it's not over yet. We need to draw Risen Reef. We could still go crazy if we get lucky. Okay. Okay. Suddenly not over. Oh, I didn't even know that thing had reach. Huh. How about that? Boo. I didn't play I didn't want to play Brawler because of Risen Reef. I mean, I have I have multiple Risen Reefs. That if we find one of those, it's a lot better. It's not like like I don't need the two four to block a two two. I don't regret keeping this card in my hand whatsoever. I think it's definitely the correct play to keep that in hand. Yeah, my my opponent has this one now though. This is what our deck's trying to do. This is what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah, we did. Except for we had the worst cards in our deck. All right, I guess I should have mulliganed. I had just I had two creatures and a draw card. I guess I should be a mulligan. It's the thing about this format is just. All right, we get first with. I mean, Drakki sets awesome, right? This is. I forgot this card was in our deck. Maybe that's the worst card. I don't know. We have a lot of worse cards that we're suddenly drawing. There's just no reason for my opponent to be doing this, doing that instant speed. All right, five four can hit hard. We'll just play it.
There are a lot of artifacts and enchantments running around. Maybe instead of one of those, instead of like this Maniacal Rage, maybe I should have... No, I should play the Maniacal Rage. I was going to say, maybe I should be playing a, na a natural end. All right, one and one. Check you, Seth. Pyromaster and Firebrand. All right, this game we're going to have Risen Reef, right? We're due for a Risen Reef game. <laughs> this is the this is the one mode where you see Vilas and Dracuseth on the same side, my opponent's side. I'm scared. <laughs> Hooray. All right, uh I guess I'd try it again. Hope they don't have removal. Or counter magic. Anticipates in this format? I don't think. I don't think. We, yeah, we didn't see a single anticipate. That card is awesome. Didn't see a single one of those. All right, so we'll reduce the Silverback Shaman to Ashes. This is a May, right? Yeah, up two, so I don't have to actually target their thing. I don't want to kill their thing, because they just get to draw a card. Because of this thing. Our deck hasn't... We haven't done a very good job of drawing through our deck. We've started with one card draw spell each time. And then not really done anything after that. We have had turn one Drachy Seth a couple of times, though. Stop highlighting my Drachy Seth. Don't, don't kill it. Don't kill it. What are you doing? Don't kill it. Uh-oh. That's rough. They get to kill their own 2 2 to draw a card. Too much for me to handle.
I've survived an apocalypse, I will survive you. All right, I think we got it. So I don't think they can draw a card anymore. Ah, uh, see, they can't. Oh yeah, they. I'd get out of the way if I were you. They can, you know, scry to, but GGs. No, they, there's no way they could draw there with me having the unsummon. So they try to fight. I just unsummon in response. All right, turn one Draki Seth, pretty good. Pretty good. That's what we've learned from these games so far. Drake, you said. Ugh. Kills people pretty fast. All right, this hand. Double Risen Reef. Triple double Risen Reef. Oh no, our opponent's born to win. Well, I guess I just keep turn one Drake Seth again. I'd rather have Rizzard Reef. <laughs> but I guess we'll go with Drakki Seth. You want to draw cards or win the game? All right. That's a good point. Yeah. Arcbow Ranger, they don't even fight with Arcbow Ranger anyway. All right. Never mind. Lose the game. We dead. <laughs> GG's. I I just have the one Drakki Seth. Bring it back. I wish Reduce from Ashes was an instant. I feel like we can do better than kill a 3 2, though. Risen Reef. Risen Reef. Oh, now I have Unsummon to protect my Drakki Seth. Yeah, my opponent doesn't really like that dragon. Uh-oh. That's kind of game.
All right, at least we got some counter spells out of their hand. I guess my opponent thinks it's game. It's not over yet. We just have to have, you know, like our divination and Risen Reefs draw a bunch of cards, season of growth, all that kind of stuff. Like we have to get real lucky, but it's not over yet. They didn't have lethal when they take the game. Hey, Blowny Pony. Alright, four games. And we haven't... We haven't started to cycle through the deck at all yet. In four games. Yeah, Bone Ash is awesome. I have one of those. I'm mulliganing. Gosh. I guess keep two. Why are, why are all of our hands so bad? Oh, yeah. If we would have thought distortion, our thought distortion against our, own, our last opponent. You know, like Season of Growth, Riz Risen Reef, and... Like our winged words. Like we're not finding any of our cards that draw multiple cards. That thing's a common? Oh man, I wish we would have found that one. All right, like normal. If we would draw Risen Reef, we would be okay. actually doing stuff. We actually did stuff. We found one of our big better cards there with the winged words. So yeah, we've gone through nine nine cards in the deck in turn one. The opponent's definitely cycling, cycling through theirs, though, now. Can't hear any sound.
All right, so they're both lethal attackers this next turn. I'm sad if we lose this that we just never got Risen Reef or Season of Growth. I was really excited about those two cards, as you can, could have probably guessed. I'll be really sad if we don't draw either of those. You know, if we go two and three here. Hopefully we win this one, though. Lose that life. Nothing that's going to be gaining life. Hey, how about that? I guess their hand wasn't any good. All right. That was match number five, and I mulliganed my hand because I didn't have Risen Reef. Maybe match number six. Maybe we'll finally get Risen Reef. We got two of them in here. Come on. Blue-green. I go first. All right. Well, I just have to keep Thought Distortion on the play. Ah, uh, just one. Well, that was very good. I know, we always get the, these same cards. I, I keep drawing this Epicure of Blood, like my worst creature. And not never like one of our two Risen Reefs. I've drawn this creature like every single game. <gasps> we did it! Finally! Get another one? Ah. Ugh, that thing's big. Mmm. I don't really need to save that. Go get him, Epicure. I guess I could have attacked with the 5-5 five five with having the other 5-5. Five five. Rude. All right, now we get more elementals. There's not very many cards in our deck that do not draw a card now. These feral abominations are about it. You know, basically the the non-elemental creatures, which we don't have very many of. Because most of our spells say draw a card, most of our creatures are elementals. Probably like a, you know, 70% chance each card. When it dies, it comes back with a 1 1 counter. Well, that was not a good one.
Draw another card now, too. Oh, uh, this looked so good for us earlier. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, here we go. Elemental. Darn. Yeah, sure. That's pretty good. And here we go. Here we go. Ugh, squad captain. All right, squad up. Squad up. Risen Reef, our deck's so much better. When we have Risen Reef. I want like my reef and my spitter to die here. I want them to like attack and I'll just double block with the one ones. And then I'll be able to bring them both back, get two triggers. All right, that was awesome. That was a that was a great turn. That was cool. All right, so we're 4 and 2. <laughs> Look at this random Uncommon that we get for a reward for winning games. That's a big game. Get another 200 gems. <laughs> I didn't play much of the Flooded Tears combo deck. I played it like once. Um, um, from like a donation deck, but yeah, you're right. It, it did kind of feel like that with dropping omniscience. Okay, get more risen reefs. That was fun with having that card. My opponent drew a couple of removal spells and didn't kill the reef. They killed other things. Killed the five fives. And that's just three big creatures. That's not going to win. This is just a lot worse than three big creatures. Well, I, I'm trying to mulligan, trying to find my reefs. I guess those things attack as 3-4s now, so they can trade with the Kelden Raider.
I wish I would have seen that anticipate card. Uh, no, I don't play MTGO anymore. All arena. Create some treasures. Oh, they... They target themselves. So I guess it was going to be attacking as a 3-4 anyway. No. The season of growth. Hey, Will, it's going good. We're having fun with some omniscience drafts. Ooh. What do you do? I don't even know. If I would have just not played my creature last turn. If I would have just not played my creature into the, the bone to ash. Good news, they got a double chump. So we're still looking really good. Does that thing... I mean, if I would have a, you said they would have had a double trade with the seven seven. The seven seven would have just blocked the the small elemental, and they would have just chump blocked the other thing, the five five. So I mean, I guess it's like, I guess it's like trading, but they still have their seven seven. Now it's still their five five. That wasn't as good for me. That's not a good trade for me. All right, we're five and two. Maybe our hand, we mold the one. We mold to one and won that game. Oh yeah. Are we on the play? Wow, lucky. Never mind, not lucky anymore. I don't want to have like duresses, mind rots, thought thought distortions, all that kind of stuff. I'll just just play this out. Um, you know, it's like a a one in thirty five chance to be draw season of growth. Um, well, that's not great for me. I was one card away from risen reef first. Um. So I could I could bounce my own like Risen Reef, re, you know, and draw a card. I can basically just turn this into cycle. But I may just want to bounce their 7-7 seven, seven and attack for a lot. I'm gonna do that. I mean this is like lethal damage. What's up, Wrinkler? Thanks for that resub. Time flies and you're watching Todd destroy final bosses. Ah, oh, thanks, Wrinkler. I mean, that was like a lot of damage. So while it's it's hard to it's hard to pass up the opportunity to draw another card, I guess attacking for twenty does it. 
All right, speaking of final bosses, I guess here we are, final boss. Let's do our final boss playlist. Dun, dun, dun. Oh man, I'm sorry, it worked was bad. My stream didn't didn't start off too well, as you can tell by like the wins, losses, and stuff. We didn't didn't do too well there, but. We're having some fun with some omniscience draft. And finally, we get Risen Reef in the opener for the... Um, yeah, definitely Befuddles pack one, pick one. A bull. Ooh, Hawkeye, you're going to come join us for the final boss? Meow. Yeah. Uh, here, Hawkeye. Need to draw some elementals. And some card draw. Wow, negating my cycler. They probably have a better creature than that. Maybe not. Thought distortion so mean. <laughs> we, we've drawn this stupid Epicure of Blood like every game. Or I say sequencing. I think my opponent drew the Thought Distortion off the Winged Words. Elemental, let's go. Bleh. I'll just block with me being at 16. I'm not sure why they didn't give their creature flying though. Elemental, let's go. Hawkeye, we're doing it. <laughs> More like Epicure of Bleh. That's it. Just like six cards that turn. And imagine if we just draw the other Risen Reef. No! Killing my Risen Reef! A fate worse than death. Oh yeah, see, yes, yeah. season of growth would also be insane. Ugh. Do you love in the zone? Highway to the Hawk Zone. I guess I, I should have cast Thought Distortion there. In case they could, they have like the Raise Dead card. Yeah, because I already have the Duress if they draw a counter. Because if, if they draw, you know, the Uncommon that, you know, buys back two instants and they just get Winged Words back.
Uh, I should have just stacked with Scorch Bitter too. Yeah, I should have stacked with that too. All right, hopefully they draw a spell, not a not a creature, a non-creature, non-land spell that is. Yeah, Bone Dash, get out of here. So I have lethal if they just draw something that doesn't do anything. I got 11. Ooh, a little risky. That could have saved them for a turn. A little risky. But why not hold the Scorch Bitter? Because I put 11 points of power into play and they're at 11. Seven and two. Two packs, 950 gems. All right, let's crack these two packs. They're probably going to be gems because, you know, I have all the, the rares, but hopefully not. Hopefully not gems. Maybe get Mythic Wild Card? Nope. 20 gold. Oh, I just got a Mythic Wild Card from this. Good. As you can tell, I mean, I have 78 rare wild cards and three mythics. I mean, I, I need mythic wild cards. Ah, it was a random mythic. 40 gems. All right. Well, that was Omniscience Draft. A lot of fun. I, I'm assuming, so it's Thursday right now. I'm assuming it's here for the weekend. You know, probably goes away like Sunday. That'd be my guess. Um... So, you know, if you want to play it on, I know, I just have all the all the rares, no no rares to spend the wild cards on. But there's still a lot of mythics that I need, you know, like all these like brawl mythics. Like I don't have any Kenriths at all, for example. I want Kenriths and, and other stuff. Um, there's too many mythics, not enough rares. Um, and do another, no, it's going to be it for me tonight. Um... That was a lot of fun, though. I'm glad I'm glad we stayed around and, and uh, got you know waited for that to start and everything. Um, I'll probably do another one of these tomorrow, maybe. Um, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, let me know how how much you if you like these omniscience drafts and everything. We do another one tomorrow. Um, but yeah, our deck was awesome, and that's all I got. That's all I got. Uh, again, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, leave those comments. Um, do all those. I'd appreciate that. All right. Thanks for watching some Omniscience Draft, and I'll see you for the next video.